Let us discuss tacticity or stereoisomerism. This is an important feature of polymer structure. Let us consider polyvinyl chloride. So, in the polyvinyl chloride, I, I have a molecule of polyvinyl chloride here. Let us say and we can see that all I, the way I have made the model or the way I have uh, drawn the structure here, all chlorine atoms, chlorine atoms are appearing on alternate on alternate carbon atoms. One carbon atom has both the hydrogen atoms and the other carbon atom has one hydrogen and one chlorine atom. So, the way the structure is made here, all the chlorine atoms are appearing on one side of the carbon carbon backbone. So, all of them are appearing let us say on the left if I am following along this line all of them are appearing on the left. This is called this kind of a structure, this kind of a structure is called isotactic. isotactic PVC. It is possible, it is possible to have chlorine atoms not on all on the same side, but on the alternating sides. So, here is the model. So, you can see now if I am following the carbon carbon backbone as my path, once the chlorine comes on the left, the another chlorine comes on right and this left and right. So, if such alternating positions of chlorine is there, then we will call such a structure as syndiotactic. this is a syndiotactic polyvinyl chloride. So, we have isotactic, we have syndiotactic, you can imagine that you can also have some sort of random arrangement of chlorine molecules. So, it come came on the left here, here it is coming on the right, the next one is still comes on the right, then it goes on the left. So, if there is no such particular order then this is called a tactic. A tactic PVC. You can see that they are all of the same chemical composition. The chemical composition of such uh, PVC is exactly the same. There are two carbon in the monomer, there are two carbon atoms, three hydrogen atoms, and one chlorine and this is what repeats. So, 2 carbon, 3 hydrogen and 1 chlorine is the fixed composition of this PVC, but still the structure of atactic, isotactic and syndiotactic are different in this subtle way. The another thing is that if I take, if I take the syndiotactic molecule, I cannot just by you remember that we had rotational degree of freedom. So, we may, that is called conformation. So, if I think that I if I just rotate this, so and to bring it bring it on the same side. So, it has come on the same side, but still now the molecule has changed its uh, shape in a different way. If I put it in a straight, if I make it a straight backbone then I can always find out that it is uh, it syndiotactic and not isotactic. So, the con configuration or the tacticity cannot be changed by simply 
rotation or changing the conformation of the molecule. Whatever its conformation, a syndiotactic molecule will remain syndiotactic. The question is how, how to form these different uh, con configurations or different tacticity. So, Ziegler and Natta actually um, uh, attained or achieved this success in trying to obtain different kinds of uh, um, polymers, the atactic, isotactic or syndiotactic depending on the control of catalysts and these catalysts are called the Ziegler Nata catalysts. So, different catalysts give you different kinds of tacticity and the 1963 Nobel Prize in chemistry was given to these two scientists for this achievement.